If you are looking for how to improve your design skills as a graphic designer from home, this video will give you five actionable steps to do to become better every single day as a graphic designer. The first one is to sketch out your designs before you hit the computer. All too often, we think that the computer will make us better as designers, but sketching at a smaller scale actually helps you to see the overall picture before you become married to a design in the screen, in the computer. I've definitely run into this where I'm obsessed with the design and I won't think with a bigger picture because I've already spent so much time putting in all the details in the actual file. But if you do it on a bigger scale, sketching it out and really see what would be the best composition, it's going to make your designs better and save you a lot of time. The second is to always look for inspiration to up your standards. Just because you look at someone else's work and you admire it, that doesn't mean you're gonna copy it. That doesn't mean that you are copying it or that you're not original. Look at why you like what they have done and see how you can then apply it to your own work to up your skills. If you're always just looking at your own work, you're gonna become stagnant. This is really important and I feel like I get this question a lot about how do I become original? How do I come up with something without looking at other people? But the point is that you have to have your level of standards at a certain level that you want to be aspiring to be and always dissect how you can improve and see what they did that makes it that you like it so much, why you wanna be like them. Now the third thing is to understand what problem your designs actually solve. They are called services because they serve someone, meaning they help them with, help, with some problem that they're having. Looking deeper than just the surface of how your designs are pretty, maybe they help to attract more customers to the brand or get more leads from an awesome website that you design. This will help you to make the right choices in each one of your designs if you're knowing what the problem is that your designs are looking to solve for that client. Now, you, the fourth one is that you can never be satisfied with your skill level. Always be looking to up your game. This comes from doing courses, reading books, watching YouTube videos, and staying on the cutting edge of what's happening in the design industry. Maybe you subscribe to newsletters from industry leaders, and always make sure that you're practicing, practicing, and practicing. There's never enough. Even the top, top designers are still practicing. Now the fifth one is to get a design mentor or coach to help guide you in your journey through the design world and through building your business if you choose to be a freelancer. Join Facebook communities of other designers and share your work there. Get helpful critiques and learn from them. There are many designers that have made it successfully and now love to give back to others. I'm one of those that actually loves to help newer or struggling designers and that's why I created this channel. It's for you. I also have a free masterclass that you can sign up for and watch at the link below to actually help you get consistent clients. If you're at that stage of your business where you're maybe struggling to find work and you don't know how to get that stability, it's a masterclass that will help you to generate a client machine. So also check out these videos to help you increase your design skills. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future graphic design tips and tools. I will see you next time.